What's up everyone, Jack from Half Chrome. Today we're talking about the Esheen Tyro 89. This is a toothpick. You're gonna build this yourself, it's $89. You get everything you need except for a receiver. This guy is actually easier to build because there's less soldering involved than, than uh, some of the other Tyros that I put together behind me. So um, let's take a look at this and let's go step by step and I'll show you how to put it together because it's a little different than some of the other drones uh, we've built. Stay tuned. Okay, so this is the Tyro 89 all put together. Uh, it is a fun looking toothpick quad. Uh, pretty easy to build actually. Uh, kind of an odd design, but um, you know, hey, it works once it's all together. Uh, I like it. I uh, like the camera. I got a Turb uh, Cadex EOS. I think that's a 1200 uh, TVL line camera. And either way, good picture. Uh, we got some pretty solid motors here. These are big, right? Big for a toothpick. The 1204, I think it's 6,000 kV. So, you know, that's, that's impressive. That means you're going to get some punch. We got a three millimeter uh, bottom plate. Um, and the motors are plugged, right? So you don't have to worry about soldering. You do still have to solder uh, back here, so that's a little bit different. But yeah, good little beginner, inexpensive toothpick, right? So if you're looking for something with a little bit more punch, well, this might be your deal. All right, let's see how we put it together. All right, so step one with building the Tyra 89 is actually just kind of take things out of the box and uh, kind of organize it. So now, I've already opened up the box, so I know what's in here, right? We're gonna set our props off to the side. That's the last thing we're gonna use. All right, we got our frame, three millimeters. That's pretty cool. Some zip ties, put those over there with the props. Uh, some nuts and bolts. We got this battery strap. This is actually kind of a garbage battery strap. These Velcro kinds don't like it. Uh, we got our canopy. That's a nice canopy. Uh, some nuts and bolts. We got our camera. That's gonna come later. Hardware. We got our motors. Let's get those kind of right out. All right, so this is your flight controller, right? And everything is gonna plug right into the flight controller here. Uh, that's super nice, makes it super easy. So we got a tiny little 25 milliwatt VTX. All right, so these are the wires and things. We're gonna need these. Let's get these out of the package. Uh, this is this is my soldering. Uh, that's my battery lead, gonna solder that. A couple of wires there. Capacitor, I gotta solder that, so we'll put that together. Uh, USB angle. That's actually my ESC here. Now I could solder the motors on here if I want, but makes this different than all the other Tyros is these are plugs for your uh, motor. So that's kind of nice. We have uh, plug-in motor, uh, motor connectors, right? All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and solder on my battery lead. That's the only soldering I have to do. So let's go do that. Okay, before we get started, um, you can see I got my ESC kind of uh, sticking to this uh, this like silly putty stick tack, right? The stuff you use to put things on walls. Um, I do have one of these like arm things, but uh, I like this for little components, right? It just kind of holds it in place. I got my soldering station set up. I got my um, my flux pen, my flux. Good solder makes a difference. Love this stuff. Um, and then I got my cleaner. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the fan on. So you can hear that in the background. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my flux pen and this makes a huge difference. I'm going to go ahead and right, put it on the spot, the things that I'm going to solder. Right, that's just going to help the solder stick to where I'm going. And uh, I'm going to pre-tin Clean that. Make sure your tip is nice and shiny. Now, I'm no solder expert, but I've done it a few times. Melt it there. some solder on my leads. It does have, these are pre-soldered or pre-tinned I should say, but it's not the best solder so we're just going to add a little bit of this good stuff. Make sure 
Oh. I'm going to clip this so that it's the same length. Okay, so I've kind of laid things out a little bit better in terms of sizing up uh, my components and my hardware. Right, I got my nuts and my small bolts, my large ones, my standoffs, uh, rubber standoffs. Right, so the first thing I think I'm going to do is put my motors on. And you're going to definitely want uh, a nice tool like this to do so. and usually the uh, size screws that you have the most of those are going to be your motor screws um, it is kind of a bummer that we don't get that we don't get instructions here uh, that would make things a little bit easier a little bit less guesswork because there are some things about this build that are just a little bit different Normally I wouldn't put in all four motors, but or all four screws, but since these plug in, I don't have to worry about soldering the wires. That I think that kind of makes my life a little bit easier. Now it doesn't matter which motor goes where. Okay, so helpful hint here, uh, number one. <laughs> all right, quick tip before you put it all together, put your battery strap on because it's not easy to get in there. Uh, I'm going to have to do a little bit of work or I might just have to take this off um, and then run that through. So uh, do that first or, or one of the earlier steps before you start throwing things on top of there. So uh, something to think about. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is put these standoffs into place, and I'm using these larger, uh, slightly larger screws to do so, right? So these, these in the bottom, right? And then you get the standoffs. Right, you kind of twist them right on there. So the plan here is to mount the ESC to the frame here. That's the next step. Okay, so now that that's ready to go, go ahead and uh, mount this on, just like that. So notice this is the back, that's the front. Go ahead and uh, Right, one thing I have to do is I have to solder, actually, if I'm using uh, S-Bus or PPM, so I have to solder two of these three pins here on the flight controller. Okay, so now we're going to start adding these connectors. Start with the ESC. Pins up. All right, now I can add these uh, connectors to my flight controller. This is my receiver. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut this off. I'll have to solder on my receiver of choice, which is probably going to be an XM Plus, which is why I did the uh, soldering here, right, the solder bridge. Okay, so they're all connected there. Now I can go ahead and mount this here. Okay, so the next step is then to put in the camera. Um, 
I use the back mounting holes here uh, just because it'll offer a little bit more camera protection in a crash, right? You, it does kind of limit your angle, your lookup angle a little bit because you'll start to see that canop uh, the canopy, but uh, I, I'm going with protection, right? So that's my thing. Uh, I also disconnected it here just so that it was easier for me to work with. That was really kind of tricky. The trick is to really kind of line one of these holes up and then uh, kind of sneak the second one in. I'm actually going to pull this uh, VTX off of here too because the way that this mounts it's really a zip tie. So I'm going to pull this here. Which way do I want to mount it? Zip tie it in there. All right, we're going to plug these back in. So it mounts like. Shall these are in. So we're going to take our long screws and the rubber grommets, the long screw. Long screw. Rubber. Alright, so there we have it. I do have two things left to do. Um, I gotta get my receiver and uh, I'm gonna tuck it in here, right? Um, that's what this is, and I'm gonna zip tie this up, I think, because it's pretty close to the props. That, of course, is never a good thing. So, uh, yeah, otherwise, here is your Tyro. So uh, you notice that I uh, threw a zip tie on here and then I put a piece of heat shrink to hold the VTX antenna out of the way of the propellers um, because you're going to want to do that. And then you'll notice that the USB in here, uh, it's kind of hard to get to. Uh, so, you know, the, it's just, you know, not a great design here, but, uh, you know, maybe do your beta flight before, right, uh, before you uh, put it together. But, you know, that's up to you.